take however many this is now. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> uh, I make so many mistakes because I can't script or bullet point, can't follow along with that. So I don't make mistakes and I end up deleting and re-recording. I'd be surprised if half my uh, YouTube subscribers get tired of me saying that by now. But I've got new subscribers. So they'll have to deal with that. Right. Get a bit of business out of the way. I have been thinking about bringing reviewing back. I used to do this thing where I call them sloppy reviews. My reviews be sloppy reviews because I consider consider them sloppy. Yeah, you get enough of an inf information from me about them to decide should I, shouldn't I see it. I just don't like spoiling films, so yeah, I keep fact. I I keep information to a minimum. I don't do the spoiler review thing. Nobody's really commented in the past when I've asked. Do you want me to do a more spoiler review thing? So there's that, but um. Yeah, so I've been thinking about doing reviews again, and I'm not sure about how to go about doing them, whether it be short or, as in shorts, or maybe a little longer. It wouldn't be that long for me because I get distracted so easily. Um, or do them via Letterboxd, because I do have a letterbox account. In fact, I think the only thing I did on it was one time in a Facebook group I'm in, everyone was ranking their favourite DC Universe live action movies. So, yeah, I did that. I set up a letterbox because everyone was doing it in the group and shared pictures of their ranking and I shared a picture of mine. Uh, but yeah. So I've got a letterbox account. So should I do letterbox reviews? Let me know. I know someone who has now since stopped doing YouTube for his own mental health. I don't blame him. He he got a lot of pushback from criti being critical of movies, which is stupid. In, I mean, everyone who active, the people who I know actively watch me no, are all the same as me if you get shit for a review for a film yeah you're likely to do one of two things ignore them or flip them off <laughs> so yeah do i do the letterbox thing do i do youtube shorts youtube vid main videos oh that guy by the way through the lens youtube is also known as through the lens on instagram I'll link his in. Well, once I've uploaded this, I'll go onto the PC later and add the info in. But if you search up through the lens on Instagram, you, it should come up with him. And if you search through the lens on YouTube, it'll come up with him. And yeah, there's that. I'm getting see. I'm getting distracted in my head. Um, the other thing besides the reviews and reviewing thing my 88 or films order i finally got and i picked up my order from amazon now this isn't the order that i've previously mentioned although i don't think i would have previously mentioned it on youtube i'm not sure uh i've had a few orders since i last mentioned one forgive this by the way i've got sniffles and an itchy nose um but yeah i finally picked up my 88 films order uh, the first one, uh, the cover's a little sensitive for YouTube. The next ones aren't, but they're in release order. Like, the first one I'm going to show you was released first out of all of these, and so on and so forth. Now, a load of my Video Nasty specific collecting uh, members of the community will all have got this already. But I only recently got it. That is Mardi Gras Massacre. That's the most I'm going to show you of the cover because it gets a bit kinky. 
Now, I've heard it's a terrible movie. I've heard it is terrible. But it's a good release of the film. And... Yeah. It's a video nasty, so I had to have it in my collection. Now, the next one... The tape for the J-card's a little naff. Which is a bit annoying for me, but... I have the first release of this on li as a limited edition in my Jackie Chan collection, and I'm I was very happy with it. When eighty eight stretched into um, steel books, they released two, which was the one and this film. Now the art for this film is good, but apparently it's just the same discs, so. Yeah, I didn't really go for that. I didn't feel like going for that. I'm not a steelbook person. So the film I'm talking about is Dragons Forever. This is the 4K steelbook. Why did I say steelbook? See, that's what I mean. I say something, it sticks in my head. This isn't a steelbook. Not a steelbook. I shouldn't have said steelbook. And I'm not going to re-record this because that's the sort of mistake that I would, you know... Dragons are up 4K. Nice limited edition. Hard box. There are many people who reviewed this on YouTube by now. That would do a far better job. So go check them out. Invincible Asia. He's a fantastic bloke. Go check him out. Um, I don't know if Mondo Celevec has got this yet. He might have. He might not have. I'm not sure. I need to catch up on his, some of his videos. But yeah, this, I've held up long enough now. Dragons Forever, 4K, glad to have it. Now, this next one is technically a re-release. It was released... You just noticed my box is a bit dinted. You've probably just seen it. Um, it was released back... Um, in the early days of Jackie Chan releases. I think it was one of the first four. And there were audio issues. I don't know what other issues there were. But there were audio issues. So this is a completely new remaster. Uh, completely new transfer, sorry. And yeah. Snake and Crane Arts of Shaolin. I watched this just recently and I fully enjoyed it. I heard that they're redoing Dragon's Fist and To Kill With Intrigue. Whether it's like this or whether it's 4Ks, I'm not sure. But I've. Um, 88 Films put up a teaser post saying some things we're working on. And Dragon's Fist and To Kill With Intrigue were two of the pictures. So, glad to have this in my collection. Because I'm going to watch this and see the difference between the two. And, um, yeah, the artwork is different as well. The artwork is different. Apparently this has... The original artwork... As in the original custom artwork and the new artwork. Uh, I don't know if that's a rights thing, like they had, sorry, uh, like they had it written into the other original artist's thing that if they release this, his artwork would be with it. I don't know. I don't know. But there's that. I babbled on about that enough. Now, the thing I got from Amazon, I went to the cinema to see Smile and a few other things. And around that time, they were advertising Pray for the Devil. Now, we really wanted to see this, me and Evan. We really wanted to go see it, but we didn't get to. So I said to Evan, the moment the, the 4K or Blu-ray or whatever it, the top end thing comes out as... When it, as soon as it comes up for pre-order, we'll pre-order pre it for us. So, that said, 
Yes, I paid full nineteen ninety nine price for this. Pray for the devil. Nice slipcase. I'm looking forward to watching this with Evan. We wanted to see it in the cinema, but we didn't get the chance to, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. If you've seen this, please no spoilers. But if you've seen it, let me know what you think. And that's that. That is all my goodies. Let's see. We have... Here we go. Big stack of goodies. And... That's that. Thank you very much if you've watched this whole video. If you skip to the end. Hello. Go back a bit. I picked some things up. <laughs> And, um, yeah, this is all coming straight from my mobile, like uh, a few of my other videos, because sometimes it's easier to just sit here and chat along with you folk. Um, so, yeah, you guys take it easy, and I will see you in another video. Closer!